welcome to a new vlog. I am off work this week, so I'm feeling motivated to get some content out there. And today I'm gonna be making a video on how I'm refreshing my diet. I have put so much time and effort in perfecting that, I shouldn't say perfecting, that's such a bad word inspiring my diet to be ideal for my goals. And I've had so much fun doing this. In just a minute, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and pick up my order that I pre-ordered. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I stay on track, why I picked this type of eating for myself that is gonna be long-term and sustainable, and how exactly I'm going about it to make it exciting and fun to where I actually look forward to eating these uh, fruits and vegetables. The mocktails that I'm making to also excite myself about my my meal time because it's all about you know I've been drinking six seven eight bottles of water a day 16 ounce bottles just simply because I've been putting them in a nice water bottle it's just the idea of having something cute and fun that makes you want to continue with your healthy habits and this is a time of year where people tend to fall off the effort the motivation the want to just simply isn't there so we have to find ways to motivate ourselves so I'm here for you to do that Let's take a quick look at my agenda. Here is my planner for those of you who didn't see before. This is my day page and then if I scroll over to the side, this is my evening page. Okay, so jumping right in, I go into my Good Notes app and this is what my month looks like. This is what my day planner looks like. This is what I'm going to be making for lunch today and this is the mocktails I'm going to be making. Part of my healthy habits was also keeping track of my sleeping. So I have on here what time I wake up and how much sleep I get, how much water I've drank so far to Day, what I'm grateful for so that's what the day looks like and then the exciting part about this is the food that's always my favorite and I go into my recipe log and I had this scheduled for one day but this one is for today I put my inspo photos what I'll be making the ingredients that it entails the drink the sauce and the wraps that I'll be making the recipe log is so much fun and it really gives me something to look forward to it's motivational it's inspiring it's really foolproof and I'm able to set myself up for success and it's really been working finally something that's actually been working that's been the goal for so long now I love when I eat in a certain way where my tummy feels nice and flat but I still feel full because I'm having fiber and the proper amount of protein and all of that so I hope you guys really enjoy this give it a thumbs up if you do consider subscribing if you haven't already and I'll meet you right back in the kitchen to have lunch all right, I am back from the grocery store and I'm making this really easy on myself. I'm gonna be making wraps all week long, wraps of all different kinds. And then next week I'll do all different types of salads and I'll just, you know what I mean? Make it different, but it's kind of the same. So it's not like, what do I do today? And too many ingredients and the grocery list is out of control. You know what I mean? So we wanna simplify this as much as possible. So I got collard green wraps, nice big leaves over here. And then I got some match, match stick carrots and some cabbage. I got this pre-shredded, pre-cut because we're making this quick and easy, guys. It's not gonna be realistic for someone like me to cut up all of this veg and put things together. Like I'm boom, boom, in and out of the kitchen. So if I wanna set myself up for success, my personality, I pay the extra dollar or two and I get everything chopped ready to go. And then we have some red pepper we're gonna put in there, some fresh cucumber, and then I'm gonna put some green onions. Tomorrow, to kind of switch things up a little bit, I'm gonna use the quinoa and chia seed wraps that I got from my local grocery store. And this is really great because it's very high in fiber. This has five grams of fiber per little wrap. Next to that, I have the Egg Life egg white wraps. I've never had these before. I'm trying it for the first time and they're really light and airy and fluffy and I thought that would be really nice for some maybe breakfast burrito or taco with like chicken and cilantro with green onion, you know, something really easy. Today I'm using the crab cakes. These are pre-made like patties. I'm going to pop those in the oven for about, what did they say, 12 minutes. And then for sauce, anytime you have a wrap, for me anyway, I have to have a sauce, something to dip it in, something to make it delicious. <laughs> so I got the sesame ginger dressing and marinade with avocado oil. I picked this up from Target and it is really good. Let's be realistic. I have a sweet tooth. So what I do is I buy something like this. Dark chocolate and caramel pretzel with sea salt. And they are 150 calories for two pieces and they're pretty big clusters. So that kind of curbs the appetite and gives me a sense of, ooh, I just had like dessert after my meal at the end of the day. And I'm not over here looking for cake and pastries and ice cream and everything else that I love. 
I went ahead and mixed everything together. This is what it looks like. I added some black pepper and then that dressing for flavor and a little bit of cilantro on top. Okay, so as soon as the crab cakes are done, we'll fold it together and I'll show you what it tastes like. I'll show you what it tastes like. Last ingredient that I forgot, no one likes dry wraps, so hummus. I've got some of the roasted garlic one left, so I'm gonna use this up. I just use whatever I have on hand, you guys. Okay, one thing I forgot to look up and find out is how exactly to wrap wraps. So these are gonna be taco style and messy. All right, this part is super simple. Couple of ingredients, just watch. All right, so before I dig in and try this, I wanted to talk about my problem specifically and why I even started this whole thing. So I eat too many calories. I wanna keep my, I should, if I want to lose weight, I wanna lose 15 pounds. I should be eating about 1500 calories for my weight and height and blah, 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 and my goals. And I will eat nice things like salads and lean proteins. And I feel like I'm doing all the things that I should do. And then at the end of the day, my sweet tooth kicks in and I want kettle popcorn and ice cream. And that's when I get bad. So I eat all of the good things. And then on top of that, I eat other junk. So if you're like me, this is really gonna help because it's gonna fill your stomach because of all the fiber you're taking in, number one. Number two, oh, number two is I have the sweet tooth, but number three, Eating an abundance of fruit really curbs your sweet tooth. So I got a bunch of plums and grapefruits, grapes, strawberries, mango, just all the fruits that I really enjoy eating. So whenever that sweet tooth comes, I have a variety to choose from and I don't get bored. That's a big thing for me. I can't just eat the same thing all the time. I can do it for a week, but then the next week I need a whole new menu, please. Actually, I want a sip of the drink first. Oh my gosh. This kind of reminds me of um, a mimosa. It's sparkling, it has that sweetness to it. You can always add more of the pomegranate juice if you want. The herbs mixed with the fruit, you guys, that's what makes it. And of course, something sparkly. But this is perfect for me. And my dressing, it's like dripping. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Mmm. 10 out of 10. That's what we're looking like inside. The ginger and the dressing is what makes this with a crab cake. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll be right back with you guys. <laughs> that was really nice. I feel nice and full. I wanted to show you guys these balls. Have you guys have you guys seen these balls <laughs> on Amazon or wherever? I found mine on Amazon. There are these rolling balls. Let me show you a little clip of Max playing with it. It was so cute. You have to see. Okay, it is the next day and I'm gonna show you guys what I had for breakfast. This breakfast was so satisfying and so satiating. It was very hydrating with all the different fruits. I especially loved the frozen 
uh, dark sweet cherries that I had. And then the watermelon, I squeezed some lime on there and strawberries and bananas are always good. And then I just made myself one egg with some chopped up spinach and tomatoes, of course. So that was really good. I stayed full for several hours. I'm definitely gonna be incorporating that type of breakfast more often. I had two bottles of water with some citrus in it as well. And then now it's time for lunch. Let me go ahead and get to my menu. This is what I had yesterday. This is what I'm planning on making today. This looks so good to me. Remember this week I'm doing all wraps. So I just took inspo from Pinterest for this chicken and cucumber and tomato, kind of like a Greek salad. I'm gonna make this into a wrap with hummus and then I'm making these delicious coconut mojito mocktails. This is gonna be so good. I am so excited for it. So I have all the ingredients for that. And then for dinner, I'm gonna be making burrito bowls. So this is gonna be a super easy, something to throw together for one person. But I could also make extra and just put everything in Tupperware because it's so easy to assemble wraps. I have all of my ingredients together and I'm gonna go ahead and put everything into the wrap. I'm hungry, I'm so excited right now. Ooh, these are soft. I thought they were gonna be hard. Mm. And we'll spread some hummus. This is roasted red pepper hummus. Lots of protein. And then some spinach. And I have my chicken. I just put some rosemary and adobo pepper. I have some nice cucumber here. Nice and refreshing some carrots, tomato. And then I'm gonna to top it off with sriracha, just like that. This is probably gonna be eaten like a taco, yeah, cause it's, <laughs> these are so thin and the ingredients inside are pretty thick, so I'm just gonna eat this in a messy taco way. Now for our mocktail, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of sparkling water. And then I have some ginger beer here. This is the hibiscus ginger beer, but regular ginger beer is just fine. So actually, I need to mash our mint first. Probably about that much. I'm just gonna smash it. Then I'm gonna squeeze some lime. Sparkling water. Ginger beer. Coconut milk. Straw. A little lime garnish. Just like that. How beautiful is this? Okay, let's go try everything. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to cut this in half. This is really big. I'm gonna move my drink. That's what it looks like inside. Let's have our first bite. Mm. The chicken is flavored to the tea, and the sriracha gives it a nice heat, and the vegetables are just really fresh. So I love that. I can't wait to try the drink. Look at this dog. He's like, something smells great. What is that? It's chicken. Cheers. So refreshing, so good. I highly recommend this one. I think I like this one better than I liked the grapefruit one yesterday. That one was really good, especially with the herbs, but I'm a sucker for mint and ginger beer and all of that in general. I wasn't sure about the coconut milk, but I highly recommend it. 
It's quite a bit later now and I thought that I would be making dinner here in the next hour or so, but I am still pretty full from lunch. It was a big wrap and it wasn't a ton of calories and I just, I can't tell you guys how good I feel eating these meals. There's no bloat and there's no feeling of ugh. There's no tiredness, like I'm full of energy. Another perk that I found really interesting is my breath has gotten a lot better. Like I'm not somebody who has bad breath, I would say in general, because I brush my teeth twice a day and I floss. When I wake up in the morning, I don't have the morning breath that I typically would have. And you know how you have plaque on your tongue and it kind of has whiteness and you have to tongue scrape or brush with a toothbrush. There's hardly anything there. And it's because fruits and vegetables are cleansing and they're healthy. I'm not eating a ton of carbs that create all of that extra plaque. So diet is so important if you wanna reach your summer goals or your health and fitness goals. You can work out all you want. You can go to those Pilates classes, but if you go in that kitchen and you sit down and you eat too many calories, you're not gonna be able to hit your goals. It's 80% diet. If you can get your diet right, you're gonna be in good shape. I love how I feel. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope it helps you. I hope you give it a try. I wanna encourage you guys to jump on Pinterest or social media in general to pick out different recipes that you'll love, that you'll be excited about. So you can stick to your 2023 goals too. That's all I have for today. You guys have an amazing rest of your day. Don't forget you can follow me on Instagram if you wanna see what I'm doing in real time. You can follow my stories. If you wanna see more vlogs, they're down below. We're doing a girls night soon too, so lots to look forward to. Have an amazing rest of your day. And until next time, bye for now. Hello.